Okay, let's do a reflection gizmo. And this one's pretty good because it's a laser reflection gizmo. So you want to do a search for laser gizmo, laser reflections right here. And this is the gizmo, so we're going to launch it just like that. And as always, when you're doing your gizmo under the information here, we want to get our vocabulary sheet. There we go. And we also want the student exploration sheet. Remember, this is the guide that gets you through the gizmo. It's the instructions, and it also gives you a place to record your answers and any of your data. So if we go back to the gizmo, let's make it a little bit bigger. And the laser is already going. That's what this red line is right over here. And what you can do is you can change, you can actually move this around so you can see where it's going. Uh, and you can also change the angle. So you can see if we change the angle, we have our incidence ray and we have our reflected ray over here. And so you can make it any of the angles all the way to 50 degrees. And you can also, it says, insert a beam splitter. And if we do that, we end up with multiple rays that we can see. And we can move this back and forth. And if we change our angle, then you can um, really see the different beams that, that are moving. And we also have a few other options for the type of reflective surface. So right now it's listed as a plane mirror. That's just a flat mirror. But we have mirror number one and so that's a little goofy and then another one over here and another one over here and you're like well, what's the big deal well sometimes you can see the difference when you put in the splitter and so you can see what happens to those different rays you can clearly tell when you pick different mirrors that they're not exactly the same right the plane mirror of course is the flat one that we're used to when you're looking at your reflection I'm gonna get rid of that beam splitter. Now, the other thing that you can do is we can put in a normal line, right? The normal line is perpendicular to the surface of the mirror. You can also put in protractor, so you can measure what those different angles are. So you can measure in, particularly with the normal line, where your angle of incidence and angle of reflection is. And without even measuring it, you can always show what those angles are. Here's the angle of incidence, and there's where the angle of reflection is, and then it gives you a list of them down over here. So that's the gist of it. That's the gist of this uh, laser reflection gizmo. Give it a try, and let me know if you have any questions.